That's what it means. Elon Musk's $56 billion pay package at Tesla was thrown out by a Delaware judge. It was a big pay package that was challenged in court by a shareholder who said it was too high and that the board didn't give enough information about why it was so high. So, back to the drawing board, it seems. The board goes back to work and puts together a plan. We have a full list of exciting Tesla news and interesting details ready to rev your engines, including recalls, price cuts, regulatory jolts, and power moves. Today's episode covers all of that, plus a closer look at the Model 3 refresh adaptive headlights in Europe and the importance of Statistics Canada's data. But before we get into the high-voltage world of Tesla, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and become a part of our Tesla stock news family. Hold on tight, because the Tesla ride is about to get crazy. Let's start the video with a shocking event. Tesla is about to start the biggest recall in its history, which will affect almost all of its U.S. cars. Getting around this move points to a possibly serious problem at the root. Who would write such a headline? especially if Tesla's only change was to slightly enlarge some icons. That's a change that might not be noticed if it's not mentioned directly. The media may not have high hopes, but calling this the biggest Tesla recall ever seems like a new low. This is another interesting story from the Wall Street Journal. Tesla is recalling millions of cars because of the latest safety flaw, which basically comes down to a 5% increase in icon size. One can't help but wonder if any other automaker would have to physically replace icons for such a small change. Just think of the public outcry if this happened with GM, Mercedes, or any other automaker. What makes this even more interesting is that no one seemed to be worried about the important icon size change during the last recall. One argument in favor of Ellen's pay package is that any CEO who agrees to such terms should be invested in. It's not likely that any of the top 500 CEOs would accept this deal, except maybe those whose companies are based in Delaware. It's hard to argue that this pay package isn't fair when it's based on success and is likely to be turned down by other CEOs. Seeing ahead, there will be costs associated with Tesla's choice to incorporate in Texas. Estimates show that it will cost more than $200 million a year, but this might be a cheaper option, better choice than Delaware especially since the Delaware judge clearly doesn't like Elon Musk. It's still not clear how much Tesla has to pay out in the end. But past cases show that conditions are good for incorporation in Texas. Elon Musk sends out a warning about the move from Delaware to another state as the place of incorporation. John Mao's plan to change his company's formation from Delaware to Nevada is currently being held up for most businesses. The choice between Nevada and Texas is very important. Elon Musk says that since Tesla's headquarters are in Texas, it makes more sense to choose that state. New price cuts have been made by Tesla in Canada. This isn't always a bad thing. In fact, it could help Tesla make more money through rewards that weren't available before. Model Y prices have been lowered in Canada by up to 6.9% or for $1,000. More good news for Canadians. They can now get a $5,000 federal tax credit as long as their car costs less than $55,000. In addition, some provinces offer extra incentives like British Columbia's for $1,000 reward. When consumers combine these incentives with Tesla's price cut, they save a lot of money. Even better benefits are available in Quebec. And both the rear-wheel drive and long-range Model Y trims can take advantage of them. This price change is expected to boost Model Y sales by a large amount in Canada which will eventually be good for Tesla's bottom line. Potential Model X buyers should rent the car for a few days before making a decision, especially if the Falcon doors are not important to them. In Canada, the starting prices for the Model 3 and Model Y are now the same, which could mean that there is a lot of demand for the new Model 3 update. Tesla has also lowered the interest rate for financing in the U.S., which makes the cars more cheap for people with good credit. This change in interest rates should help Tesla's sales even more when it comes to product problems. Tesla is taking care of a problem where the TR will covers are wearing tires down faster than norm. L. The covers can damage the sides of the tires by digging into them. This might not seem like a big deal at first. Tesla is expected to fix this problem quickly. Tesla fans in China will be happy to hear that the Quicksilver color choice is now available in their country. 
This is likely to increase demand in response to the lawsuit in California. Tesla paid a $1.55 million fine to end the case over hazardous waste. This settlement probably won't have a big effect on Tesla's finances or on investors in U.S. stocks. However, making sure that hazardous waste is handled properly is very important. And Tesla needs to take this issue very seriously. It's not clear if Tesla is really at fault here or if California is just following its usual strict enforcement policies. It's possible that some rules are enforced more for the sake of following them than for real environmental benefit. Tesla has reached a major milestone by producing a record-breaking 6,000 Model Y cars in a single week at its Giga Berlin facility. Higher production levels are good for cost-effectiveness as economies of scale take effect. Progress is also clear at the Gigafactory Mexico, where Tesla has started the hiring process for an engineering program manager based in Austin, Texas, who must be fluent in Spanish. The latest Tesla report shows an amazing milestone. The company is happy to say it has a workforce of about 140,000 people around the world. The really amazing thing about this number is that it now ranks right up there with General Motors and Ford. Notably, while both Ford and GM have seen job losses, Tesla has gone the opposite way, increasing its workforce by almost 99.5%. This sudden growth comes as a surprise, especially since Elon Musk had recently hinted at a hiring freeze within the company. This strong growth not only shows how dynamic Tesla is, but it also shows how big the electric vehicle industry could be for Globa. High praise for the new update to the Tesla Model 3. The movie is likely to get more than 1 million views, which is good for Tesla's sales. In another news story, the writer calls the Model 3 a mini Model S and talks about its great features, such as its ultra-red color, better speaker system, and tighter steering radius. Tesla is getting ready for an exciting presence at the highly anticipated Chicago Auto Show, which is the biggest auto show in North America. The stage is set for Tesla to make a lasting impression as attendees will have the chance to get up close and personal with the Model Y and the refreshed Model 3. What's noticeably missing from this event are the iconic Cybertruck and the luxurious Model S, which suggests that Tesla is planning to strategically highlight the model. This event looks like it will be a turning point for both Tesla fans and people who want to buy a Tesla in Europe, especially France, through a free over-the-air software update. Tesla owners can look forward to having adaptable headlights turned on in their Model Y and Legacy. Model 3. These headlights provide better lighting without glare for other drivers. Increasing safety while driving at night in addition statistics Canada has made public Tesla's reward numbers for the Model 3 and Model Y. This gives us useful information to guess how many Teslas will be delivered in Canada. In the case of the lawyer who helped out with Ellen's pay deal, this information is also used to figure out U.S. sales numbers. He thinks that things will get better in Delaware. There is a chance of a direct appeal to the Delaware Supreme Court, which is the highest court in these kinds of cases. An appeal is likely, and the current board, which is different from the 2018 board, could come up with a new compensation plan for shareholders to approve. How involved lawyer Kathleen J. McCormick would be would depend on the board's decisions. If the board suggests a package that seems too much or causes worries about duty of care, others, including the lawyer's firm, could get involved. But if the board is smart, the lawyer's role might be minimal. It's worth noting that he seems ready to take on Elon again. But if Tesla is no longer incorporated in Delaware, it might be harder for him to do so. His comments are still a bit vague, lacking specific criteria for an acceptable compensation package. And it's ironic that his firm stands to gain significant her use of words like dare to go boldly. And historical phrases is more typical of people who want to get into politics or get noticed for taking on a high-profile case. This makes Elon think that the backlash against him is likely to be worse than any criticism from the major media. A tweet by Elon that most people didn't see could reach more people if it were posted on his main feed. That's all for today, guys. We talked about some big Tesla news, like a possible big recall. We talked about changes to state incorporation laws, price cuts in Canada, and Elon Musk's pay package. We also talked about Tesla's global production goals and new features in the Model 3 refresh. Finally, we talked about adaptive headlights in Europe 
and how important Statistics Canada's data is. What do you think about Tesla's recall? Is it a real safety worry or an exaggeration? What are your thoughts on Elon Musk's advice about incorporating? What do you think about the price? Canada predicts that Elon Musk's pay package will be cut. What do you think about the judge's words in the lawsuit? Please like. Also, sign up for Tesla Stock News to get more news. Your help keeps us going. Thanks. And we'll see you in our next music films.